The Sayings of Slid, Whose Soul is by the Sea, by Lord Dunsany. Slid said, Let no man pray to Mena Yud Sushai, for who shall trouble Mena with mortal woes, or irk him with the sorrows of all the houses of earth? Nor let any sacrifice to Mena Yud Sushai, for what glory shall he find in sacrifices or altars who hath made the gods themselves? Pray to the small gods, who are the gods of doing, but Mena is the god of having done, the god of having done and of the resting. Pray to the small gods, and hope that they may hear thee. Yet what mercy should the small gods have, who themselves made death and pain? Or shall they restrain their old hound time for thee? Slid is but a small god, yet Slid is Slid. It is written, and hath been said. Pray thou, therefore, to Slid, and forget not Slid, and it may be that Slid will not forget to send thee death when most thou needest it. And the people of earth said, There is a melody upon the earth, as though ten thousand streams all sang together for their homes that they had forsaken in the hills. And Slid said, I am the lord of gliding waters, and of foaming waters, and of still. I am the lord of all the waters in the world, and all that long streams garner in the hills. But the soul of Slid is in the sea. Thither goes all that glides upon the earth, and the end of all the rivers is the sea. And Slid said, The hand of Slid hath toyed with cataracts, and down the valleys have trod the feet of Slid, and out of the lakes of the plains regard the eyes of Slid. But the soul of Slid is in the sea. Much homage hath Slid among the cities of men, and pleasant are the woodland paths and the paths of the plains, and pleasant the high valleys, where he danceth in the hills. But Slid would be fettered neither by banks nor boundaries, so the soul of Slid is in the sea. For there may Slid repose beneath the sun, and smile at the gods above him with all the smiles of Slid, and be a happier god than those who sway the worlds, whose work is life and death. There may he sit and smile, or creep among the ships, or moan and sigh round islands in his great content, the miser lord of wealth in gems and pearls, beyond the telling of all fables. Or there may he, when Slid would fain exult, throw up his great arms, or toss with many a fathom of wandering hair the mighty head of Slid, and cry aloud tumultuous dirges of shipwreck and feel through all his being the crashing might of Slid, and sway the sea. Then doth the sea, like venturous legions on the eve of war that exult to acclaim their chief, gather its force together from under all the winds, and roar and follow and sing and crash together to vanquish all things, and all at the bidding of Slid, whose soul is in the sea. There is ease in the soul of Slid, and there be calms upon the sea. Also there be storms upon the sea, and troubles in the soul of Slid, for the gods have many moods. And Slid is in many places, for he sitteth in high Pagana. Also along the valleys walketh Slid, wherever water moveth or lieth still, but the voice and the cry of Slid are from the sea. And to whoever that cry hath ever come he, must needs follow and follow, leaving all stable things. Only to be always with Slid, in all the moods of Slid, to find no rest until he reaches the sea. With the cry of Slid before them, and the hills of their home behind them, have gone a hundred thousand to the sea, over whose bones doth Slid lament with the voice of a god lamenting for his people. Even the streams from the inner lands have heard Slid's far-off cry, and altogether have forsaken lawns and trees to follow where Slid is gathering up his own, to rejoice where Slid rejoices, singing the chant of Slid, even as will at the last gather all the lives of the people 
about the feet of Menayud Sushai.